What's up guys? All right, today we are building this. It is our four tire inflation deflation system. It'll speed up our inflation times on the trail and it'll help equalize all our pressures when we want to get back on the road. But yeah, now we're going to build it. Let's get to it. Okay, so before we get started, everything that's got threads on it, we're going to stick this tape on it. So it's going to seal up the threads and make it airtight. When you're doing this, just make sure you wrap it. Yeah. So as the tape goes on and you thread it into the hole, it's going to stay on and not bunch up. So now that those are all wrapped, we're going to get our hose cut to length. We're going to lay it out and yeah. lay it out from front to back and then cut it out that way. Okay, so we got it laid out here. We gave ourselves a little extra <clears throat> just so we can have some slack and work with other vehicles. So, now we're gonna cut it. We're gonna set our compressor. We have this portable compressor that we're using now, but we're gonna be getting a better compressor soon. So, for now, we're gonna set it up back here and it'll sit on the ground. So we're gonna cut it right about there because it'll plug into our 12 volt. Right there. Okay, now that we have that cut, we're just going to measure it off the other side and cut the exact same length. Okay, so now we've got our pieces cut equal length. We're going to take about three feet off the end and then we're going to have those tee off into our line for our rear tires. So there's our rears, there's our full length. We'll get these all teed up and tied in together now. Okay, so we're actually gonna utilize these connections that come on the Flexzilla hose. So we're gonna flip the hose around and then we're gonna get it all cut up. So these valves are pretty cool. They have four little locking teeth that when you clip it on, just bites onto your valve stem. No coming off there. Pull it down, have it come off, nice and easy. I have a link for these and everything else in the description too. So here's our assembled end. This will be our front end here. So that'll tie in here. We're gonna give ourselves about a foot extra for the rotation of the tire. So now we're back here, we'll tee in here, and we'll tie in this section that we cut off earlier, that three foot section, and we'll build another uh, attachment valve. Don't forget your hose clamps. Make sure those go on first. That screwdriver is way too long. <clears throat> Alright. The side ties in here. And these ends just get finished up with a quick, quick connector. But I didn't tape this side. Okay, so we have both sides mirrored up now. So we're gonna go ahead and build our manifold. All right, my camera died, so we're switching to the phone. Um, so here is the basic setup of our manifold. We've got our two chucks here. 
got an air pressure gauge, manifold itself, one or a valve, and then another inlet, which is going to be how we connect our hose to our compressor. It's also going to be how we let out our air when we want to just drain it all at once. Okay, here's our manifold. It's all built up. So we'll plug our lines into here. Open it up here. That's how we'll drain our tires. Close it up. And now we'll build our connection hose. Okay, so here's how we're going to set up our connection hose. We've got these two ends here. We're going to hook them on here. And then that'll hook up to our manifold and our compressor. All right, we're all done. So we've got our main tire, our front tire here. And then that'll tie into our rear tire. Comes around. Mounts up to our manifold here. And ties into our compressor. Kind of just a cheap compressor. Um, comment down below on which compressor we should get. And we'll see if your comment makes it to our new inventory cache. So we'll go around the other side. Get the same thing. Rear. Up to the front. White. And now we're done. All right. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment down below. Um, appreciate all your help, all your support. And we'll be making some more videos soon. Thanks. So the Gobi's on the way. We'll have two storage boxes up there for now. We'll store it in the back like this. Not too bad. Not too shabby. So I have a ton of space in there. Yeah looks too not too bad anyway yeah this will all get stored up in the goby once it comes super stoked with how this came out um yeah pretty simple quick easy build we decided to go with quarter inch line instead of three eighths everyone's going with three eighths but we went quarter inch because of space um we learned i learned from my time in the army that you know you only have a finite amount of space on your truck so to fill it with all this stuff is a little silly it's helpful but when you compare the 3 8 hose to the quarter inch hose it's just so much space saved so yeah i'll lose a minute here or there but i'll also gain a ton of space when it's packed up so yeah anyway thanks for watching